Hi everybody, it's Candy with Custom Queen Designs and I'm here today to do two glasses for my new turnovers that my wonderful husband built for me because he's awesome. Um, I've gone ahead and I've pulled the stickers off, I've painted them, the bases are metallic gold. Um, metallic gold, Rust-Oleum. That's what I'm going to be using. And I've also got my epoxy pre-mixed and I'm going to be putting in, I already put in a little bit of the Recollections gold as an accent glitter. And I'm going to be using the Bria Reese uh, alcohol inks and magenta orange turquoise and marine blue i'm sorry you can't really see the names because i've been using the heck out of these <laughs> and uh pinata rich gold and i'm gonna go ahead and get started so let me get my turners turned on while she's doing that just to try to give you an idea of of kind of where she's trying to go with this not exactly because of course the colors and everything are different but She's, let me see if I can get some good light on this. There we go. She's basically uh, trying to show you guys how she came up with this wonderful design right here. Some of you guys on Facebook and um, other social media might have seen her put up a little video last night. So, it's the coolest thing in the world to have both turners up so you can do two glasses at one time. It's not gonna look exactly the same, but they'll be in the same family. The colors and everything, so. They'll be more coordinated. Yeah, okay. Coordination, that's a better word for it. My mom will whoop my butt. So we're going ahead and just getting a thin coat on both of these. Make sure you have enough epoxy and not too much because last night when I did those glasses I poured way too much epoxy. And before I had a chance to really do anything with it, put it in a mold or something, it ended up hardening. So, so guys, I, I, I might be a little bit frustrating but unfortunately, while you're, you're basically figuring out exactly how much epoxy you gotta use for what, there's really not any way that you're never gonna waste any at all. So, just be flexible. It's a good thing I got some big bottles. Yeah. Okay. What are you working with this one, uh, the Pro Marine? Um... Yeah, this is the Pro Marine, which is also FDA compliant. Uh, gallon bottles um, it's each a uh, half a gallon of each each part part a and part B and you get it for sixty two dollars and ninety three cent on Amazon on Amazon yeah order it order if you order it like in the morning they'll drop it off in the afternoon well, it depends day. on where you live oh yeah, yeah so here if you order it early enough in the morning like say before probably like 12 in the afternoon you'll get it that same evening all right, so got most of this epoxy apart. Glittery gold, glittery gold. Let me get this glove off. Look at all of that glittery gold. Get my heat gun. Get those little bubbles, get right? Get some of these bubbles out. And you guys, you don't have to go so heavy, too heavy on the heat. Fish eye action right there. Yeah. That is. Keep that gun moving. Because if you leave it in one area too long, it'll make all that epoxy drip off, right? In that spot, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, so keep that heat gun moving, guys. Alrighty. So. What I did in the other glasses that he showed you is I started with my darkest color at the edges and I worked my way to the center. 
and that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, just worked the way to the center. So I'm gonna try to do that again today. So I'm gonna start off with this marine blue. And what I do is I go to the top and do a drop, drop at the bottom, drop at the top, drop at the bottom. And I start letting that move around. I know I'm gonna need a little bit more. I want the whole bottom area to be Come back around. You might not even need me, do you? Yeah, I do. I did when I did it last night. I did the same thing. And if you don't put more, that whole side mm -hmm. will will look like you have some in one place, but you don't have anything anywhere else. <laughs> so that's doing pretty good. So then I'm going to go to the turquoise. Here and a drop here, drop here and a drop here, right there, right there, right there, get that going over there. You get any feedback from anybody who said that they're um they've started using one of these uh, silicone oven mats or anything? No. Okay, and then I'm gonna come in with my pink, my magenta. Is it pink or is it magenta? It's magenta. You know, don't mess with me. <laughs> But you're gonna you're gonna tilt these things. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's a method to my madness, dude. Okay. That was a nice way of her telling me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. And I also want to make sure I cover my bottoms up. So I'm adding some more blue just to get my bottom covered. And then I'm gonna take this orange and I'm going in the middle. So what I do now is I take whatever color I feel like isn't completely swirled around the cup and I try to get it, fill in some little dots wherever I can. <coughs> Excuse me. More pink. There we go. All right. So this is what we got so far. And then I'm gonna come in with the gold. I don't know how this is gonna work because I haven't done gold on one of these yet, but hey. And I try to put it in the spots where I think it's kinda of in between. Second. Oh, I think I just ran my finger across the speaker. Sorry if I muffled it, guys. Get a little bit more gold action going. And then we're going to do what we do. Alright, so I'm going to hit it with my heat gun a little bit. Low setting. Moving it vigorously. Oh no, she's actually look like she's aiming at that gold, yeah, trying to get that gold, that gold moving. Move a bit. Sometimes that gold will have a tendency to stay in a lump. When you're using the metallic colors with alcohol inks, I've noticed that the gold will 
gold and silver have a tendency to stay in the water. And then I'm gonna be peek on that. See that? Oh, that's not. It'll be okay. All right, so, sweetheart, I'm gonna need you to move over to the side. Don't be moving me around. Like I'm in the way. Okay, so what I do, because I have two of these and I'm limited with space, you guys. So this one is going to go on the floor for now. So I'm going to put that on the floor, put that to the side for a moment. And it's still spinning, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do my tilt action. I'm just going to let it stay flipped for a few, just so I can get it moving down the glass a little bit. I'm liking how these colors are working out too. I'm a beast when it comes to colors. I'm yeah, just pretty much a beast. No, I just have colors. Just want to get some of that drip action going down on the bottom. Drip, drip. And once I do just like that, you see how that's going down? Mm -hmm. All right, after I get that around there, then I'm going to flip. Turn it and I'm just gonna let it spin just like that. I'm gonna pull this bad boy back up here. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing with him that we did with the other one. A him, is it? Is that a her? Yes. And see, one of them gets to spin regularly a little longer than mm -hmm. the other one. So the effects might be different. I don't know. But I like the way they come out. So I got that drip action going right there. And now it's time to flip. Look at that sliding down. Sound like you're doing a Colt 45 commercial. <laughs> Look at it sliding down. Works every time. Oh my god. <sighs> no, he does not walk around talking like that, you guys. I, I actually have been known uh, to throw out a Billy D quote from time to time. Oh my gosh, don't do it, please. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. <laughs> Every, it, it no. It's a very obscure film, you know. Okay. Everybody doesn't have the context to, to, to get it, so. I'm, right. I'm going to spare myself from looking like an oddball. So. On that one, at least. Maybe you never look like an oddball. I always look like an oddball. <laughs> I don't care, but. Alrighty, so this is what we got. If I get the camera to focus, it'll be okay. Be and cool. I'm just gonna let these spin. Um. Mm. Different, but clearly the same. It's gorgeous, baby. Thank you. Great job. I love these. I think these are pretty too. Oh yeah. All right, so give it a try, guys. You know, as always, give it a try. You know, tag candy to the uh, to the attempts that you guys have. You know, please, you know, continue sharing the videos, clicking like, subscribing. We thank you very, very much for the support. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Later, y'all.